Let's take a trip back in time to 2004. Purchase a GameCube now and get the Legend of Zelda. Beautiful Joe 2! Rated T for Teen. Win win prizes that caps can't buy. Melee legend Ken was in the midst of his absolute domination as players like Wes, Chillin, and Rob Money joined him in the top 10. The largest event of that year was Tournament Go 6, records of which have mostly been lost to time. And this 112 player event wasn't held at the enormous convention centers of the modern era, but instead in T.O. Matt Deasy's house. And in many other houses all across the world, albeit much less packed with smashers, players who had become legendary names in the community were playing against their siblings, not knowing how integral this game they grabbed off the used game rack at GameStop would become in their lives. Somewhere in Virginia, a green peach tries to keep up with his older brother, who is inexplicably good with every character he touches. Halfway across the world in Sweden, a 13-year-old kid named Adam is living out a similar story, trying to stand out in a house of eight other siblings. And over in Long Island, a three-year-old kid was just trying to get better while his three older brothers were out at school. He couldn't read just yet, but wanted to make an in-game tag just like his brothers. He stumbled his way to the name entry screen and haphazardly typed in four letters. He couldn't even enunciate what would remain his tag more than a decade later, but that didn't matter to a young accomplished Aklo who was able to replicate what his older brothers had done. He equipped the tag and continued to duplicate what his older brothers had shown him on grainy 240p video downloaded from the internet. And soon enough this kid was wave dashing better than most before he could even read. To Aklo, his brothers were giants towering over the three-year-old in every essence. But Aklo didn't remain in the shadow of these giants, he used them for guidance. He followed the path they had cleared ahead and was able to more easily traverse it because of the knowledge his brothers had bestowed on him. Aklo very quickly went from standing on the shoulders of giants to slaying his own. Aklo and his brothers Vidiot, Killa Cubs, and Foxy Grandpa named themselves the Brotherhood, a name that would be fitting for a secret society, but also rang true with the mythos the family started to build around themselves in the Smash community. The Brotherhood was only able to enter events two or three times a year, and even sometimes less, but at least one of the brothers would upset a PR player at a regional before the Brotherhood Bracket Assassins would slip back into the shadows. One of the best documented examples of this was at the Flex Zone on a crisp January afternoon back in 2015. The Brotherhood's main focus at the time was in Project M, but with how few events they were able to attend, they entered the melee bracket as well. Most of the Brotherhood put up lukewarm performances in the secondary bracket to them, but Foxy Grandpa chose to carry the weight for the family by sending La Luna in losers and and eventually finishing right outside of top 8. They weren't even here for Melee and the Brotherhood scored one of the biggest upsets in that bracket. So you shouldn't be surprised to hear how they did in Project M. Kill a Cup sent Galo, a Mario that would be ranked 7th best in the world in 2016, down into losers. Foxy Grandpa knocked DVD, a Toon Link main who since his 10th best in the latest PM rank, to the lower bracket. And after a round one loss to Dark Blues, Vidiot eliminated Malachi, ranked the fifth best in the world in the latest PR as well, having him finish at 33rd. But the youngest of the fraternal assassins was the one who shone the brightest at the event, finishing seventh, tied with Seagull yeah, Joe. Only good. Very nice Randall assist. Oh, that was great. Great spot dodge. There you go. That might be it. There you go. Follow that tech chase and then, you know, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, great stuff from Aklo. On his road to a top eight finish, the 14-year-old Aklo delivered the killing blow to two New York Melee legends, DJ Nintendo and La Luna, as well as ending the loser bracket hopes of Shiny Zubat and Envy. Tournaments like the Flex Zone are what cemented the Brotherhood as New York legends in both the Project M and Melee community. But nothing lasts forever. The brothers all kept Smash as a part of their lives as they aged, However, they all weren't living under the same roof anymore, as one by one they started to head off the college. The Brotherhood and the mythos behind it wouldn't ever completely die, much like the legendary series that bonded the siblings closer than blood ever could, but it would never exist in its original form ever again. We jump ahead now to 2019 with a 17-year-old Aklo. He's in his final year of high school, getting ready to be the last of his brothers to leave Long Island and the legend they created all those years ago. Aklo heads out to Scorpius 2019 in Deer Park, New York on January 12th, 
nearly four years to the day after his family's incredible showing at the Flex Zone. But at Scorpius, the Brotherhood only featured two of its four founding members, as it would for most tournaments moving forward. Aklo and Foxy Grandpa. Foxy Grandpa and his Sheik did their part in keeping the legend alive with a top 8 finish that involved knocking New England Falco Warmer out of the event before being eliminated by two Jigglypuffs. And just like all those years ago, Aklo took everything he learned from his brothers who once towered above him to unexpectedly tear through yet another bracket. Thanks in part to Walls' Icy taking hacks out of his winner's path, Aklo fought his way to winner's semifinals at the event, beating JD's Fox and the Ditto the Get There. And we were a game away from having the two brothers duel for a slot in winner's finals, but unfortunately 40 seconds Jigglypuff robbed us of that storybook matchup. But instead of seeing the climax of a nearly two decade old sibling rivalry, we saw something more powerful. The power of a two decade old brotherhood. THE Brotherhood. Aklo learned yet again from his older brother, defeating 42nd 3-1 in winner's semis, and sweeping J-Flex after him in winner's finals, to be sitting pretty on winner's side of grands at Scorpius 2019. Guys, screwed up hacks Wait, thing. shine out a shield! <gasps> oh, the, oh, the this knockdown. is huge! Oh my god. Up oh down. my god, this is... Up oh air. no, oh, he's so scared! He couldn't get, he couldn't get him. Yeah, he he's couldn't. so scared. Oh my god. Hatch overcommits with that dash attack, but Aklo oh, not ready. Reverse weak bear! Back! Oh, no, he fares! He fares! Oh my god, great wall oh, jumps inside me! Oh, that's it. oh my god! god. Diplo. But that's where the storybook tale stops. Aklo unfortunately wasn't able to close out game 5 against Hacks, who came roaring through losers to win the event, but second place at an event of this caliber was a clear indication that Aklo was even more capable than that same boy who bested Project M's finest at the flex zone all those years ago. I just, right. I just keep thinking like I had it, you know? <laughs> uh, I know, that's rough. It'll yeah. it'll pass, but you gotta you gotta know what I get to. You gotta think about what a sick run that was. Yeah, because yeah. it really was. I mean, you were you were one top platform tech chase away from taking set one. Like yeah, you were, you ha true. like you played well enough that you gave yourself a chance to actually win the whole thing. Yeah, so you gotta look at it like that. These two continued their involuntary bracket guerrilla warfare, slipping back into the shadows until the summer. In July, the pair both finished right outside of top 8 at Omega 3, with Foxy beating the semi-retired Darktooth and Aklo beating former top 100 Fox, Kaon. School started up again in the fall, and the two almost completely disappeared from New York locals until winter break brought Aklo back to Long Island to wreak havoc on New York brackets once again. His first performance during winter break at Hax's nightclub, New York's premier weekly, looked mainly like a de-rusting, 7th place losing the Vino and Layton. Aklo followed this up two weeks later with a third place at the first HNC that was counted for New York PRs. The tournament was riddled with upsets, with his wins over Rishi's Marth being one of the most prominent. And before he was knocked out of the event by Captain Smucker's Falcon and Two Saints Puff, he also grabbed wins over New Jersey's The Swooper and Philly's current number two, Kem. It's a good start. But Aklo wanted to do better. Scorpius 2020 was just three days away, and although Tri-State was even more packed with talent than last year, he wanted to at least match his second place from the 2019 edition of the event. So he and Foxy Grandpa did what they've always done, what binds them together even more than blood. The thing they've been doing for nearly their entire lives, in this same city, with the same fervor of their younger selves. A second place finish for the brothers in doubles. But this story is about Aklo. Oh, it just wants to need to. Oh, he's dead. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, reverse Nair. I he can't believe that didn't hit. I can't believe that didn't hit. Just a hair no. too slow. Yep. And that is 3-1. Aklo in a, you know, frankly, you know, it was 3 1, but I was like, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of convincing. Basically 3 0. Only he's one step he of the way there. He's standing oh, he's standing up. up. Got, oh, eight. oh, Aklo stands up too. He's, oh, let's go. This, Melee? Oh, that's it. Is this it? it? Is Jigglypuff gonna get. What? Okay, what the heck? I don't know. Just let him go. That's a lot of percent, though. This yeah, is looking so 60%. bad. 60%. Yeah. yeah. All right. No. So, congratulations to. Aklo Congrats to, to Aklo. winning Scorpius 2020. And Aklo comes back one year later, just being a game away from winning Scorpius 2019 to win Scorpius 2020. And on that run, he doesn't drop a single set. 
He picks up another win on the swooper and beats Fryo beats Peach coming hot off a win against Slox's Fox. And easily the best indication on how good Aklo is, he beat both players who eliminated him from Hax's nightclub on Wednesday earlier that week. It took him three days to formulate a game plan on how to beat two of New York's best players. Some players will rack up double digit losses across years to their region's best without cracking the code, but he did it in a single set. Aklo isn't slaying giants anymore. He is the giant. Actually wants to be like renowned on, a, on an international scale. Like, yeah. you know, the game's so old. We've been playing it since we were all kids. Or since he was, you know, <laughs> literally a sperm cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're younger than Melee, aren't you? A little bit older. A little bit <laughs> okay, older, yeah. okay, okay.